In this video, we'll talk about the Analog Discovery's Network Analyzer instrument. The Network Analyzer allows you to very quickly and easily measure the frequency response, the magnitude and phase responses as a function of frequency, for a circuit. Most of us have had to measure the magnitude and phase responses for a circuit frequency point by frequency point. The process is tedious and can be error prone. Using the Network Analyzer is, by contrast, a pleasure. The network analyzer displays magnitude responses on a decibel scale and frequencies on a logarithmic scale. The format is that of a Bode plot. Before we demonstrate the network analyzer, I want to give a very brief review of Bode plots. This review will be in the context of a first order low pass filter. The magnitude response displayed in Bode plot form has gain expressed in decibels. Decibels are a way of representing gain on a logarithmic scale. Gain in decibels is 20 times the logarithm of the ratio of the output to the input. The frequency axis on a Bode plot is also logarithmic. The frequency axis is typically expressed in decades, or factors of 10 in frequency. Evenly spaced points on the frequency axis are orders of magnitude apart in frequency. Bode plots are often expressed as straight line approximations. For a first order low pass filter, the plot is flat below the cutoff frequency and decreases at a rate of 20 dB per decade above the cutoff frequency. For this particular example, the DC gain is 1 or 0 dB. For a first order low pass filter, the actual frequency response will be as shown. It asymptotically approaches the straight line approximation at high, low and high frequencies. The maximum error between the approximation and the actual responses will be a difference of 3 dB, which is at the cutoff frequency. Like the magnitude response, the phase response of a Bode plot has a logarithmic frequency scale. The phase axis, however, is linear. The straight line approximation to the phase response of a first order low pass filter is zero at low frequencies and minus 90 degrees at high frequencies. The phase rolls off linearly, starting at a decade below the cutoff frequency and ending at a decade above the cutoff frequency. The phase shift is negative 45 degrees at the cutoff frequency. The actual shape of the phase response for a first order low pass filter is shown here. It agrees with the straight line approximation at low frequencies, high frequencies, and at the corner frequency. Before doing our example, I'd like to make a few general comments about the network analyzer. It's found under the more instruments icon on the waveform's main window. The network analyzer uses both oscilloscope channels. Channel 1 is used to measure the input and channel 2 is used to measure the output. When using the network analyzer, both channels must be used as single-ended measurements. The negative terminals of both channels must be connected to ground. Since the network analyzer uses the oscilloscope channels, the oscilloscope is disabled when the network analyzer is in use. The network analyzer also uses channel 1 of the waveform generator to apply the input to the circuit. As with the oscilloscope, channel 1 of the waveform generator is disabled when it is in use by the network analyzer. Now let's do a quick example of using the network analyzer to measure the frequency response of an active low pass filter. This is the circuit we'll be using. It should have a DC gain of 0 decibels and a cutoff frequency of about 1600 Hz. Here's our active low pass circuit. We have an operational amplifier here. There's a capacitor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor in the feedback loop. There's a 1 kilo ohm resistor between the input, which is applied by channel 1 of the waveform generator, and the inverting input on the op amp. We're measuring our output between the output terminal of the op amp and ground. This is an inverting low pass filter. In order to make this filter match with our previous expectations, we're going to invert the polarity of the measured voltage so that the phase shift is as we expect from the previous slides. We'll also measure our input using channel one of the oscilloscope. Our input is between here and ground. Since this is an active filter, we'll apply power to it using the voltage instrument. Now, open the network analyzer. Our expected cutoff frequency is about 1600 Hz. We'll look at a frequency range that goes from at least about an order of magnitude below this to an order of magnitude above it. Let's go from a starting frequency of 100 Hz to an ending frequency of 100 kHz. 
I'll leave the waveform generator input to its default values of zero offset and an input amplitude of one volt. I'll choose the maximum value on my magnitude plot to be 10 dB and the magnitude plot to span, say, 50 dB. So that my plot's vertical scale will be from negative 40 dB to positive 10 dB. I'll set the vertical axis on my phase plot to have a maximum of zero degrees and a range of 100 degrees. This should adequately represent my expected phase range from zero to negative 90 degrees. Now if I click on run, the Bode plot gets created for me. It looks pretty much like what I would expect based on my previous slides.